Um, the question now is that Clause 4 stand part. James Shaw. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, earlier in the debate, I um, tried to summarise uh, the various arguments that I'd been hearing and the, some of the concerns and questions that have been raised about uh, the bill, and some of them are pertinent to Schedule 3B, um, which discusses the amounts that are being raised, saying in 2016-17 it'll be 50 million, same in 17-18 and again in 18-19. Uh, so the, the questions, uh, and I, I, I would just like to acknowledge uh, the Minister, Amy Adams, for having taken a call and responded to a number of, of the questions uh, that I'd itemised. I think that she had given responses to four of the nine questions, um, but there are still five to be answered, and in fact there have been a couple of other questions that have raised since. Uh, so the questions in relation to the amounts are uh, really to do with the value uh, for money of the previous program and whether we should be seeking to raise these $50 million a year uh, as specified uh, in Section 4 here uh, when we're unsure about the, um, the money that has been spent so far, the $300 million that's been spent on the, on the program so far. So the questions that I um, put earlier, and, and I appreciate hearing from the Minister or from uh, someone on the government benches, were about whether there has been good use of the money. So there have been a number of complaints about the quality of the connections that people have received uh, as part of the existing program, um, and a sense that actually, you know, for all of that money, the quality of the connections isn't all that good. Secondly, um, evaluating, on, uh, evaluating and reporting on the effectiveness of the Rural Broad Broadband Initiative, that a sort of a sense that actually um, some really good program evaluation has not yet occurred uh, and that that money may be, you know, kind of good money after bad. And, and uh, we haven't yet heard, I believe, from uh, the Minister or from the Government about those concerns. Uh, and I would, like to, I would like to get a response from uh, the Government on that in relation to uh, these amounts here um, in, in this section. Thank you, Mr Chair. 